Aloha everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Rupa, ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, talk a little bit about strabismus, which is misaligned eyes in pediatric ophthalmology. That's my specific area of expertise. And then my passion, which is eye makeup health. And today we're combining eye health and eye makeup health because I'm going to be addressing whether or not your makeup is causing your sty. So if you're interested in finding out, keep watching. love it if you just hit that subscribe like follow do all of that stuff because that just lets me know that you are interested in my content i can keep producing these videos despite everything else that's going on so please do that for me i would love it all right first what is a sty sty is a painful red bump it's usually at the base of your eyelash can be around the eyelid margin, usually in the middle to outer third of the top or bottom lid, can happen either place. What does it feel like when you have a sigh? So you can feel like there's something in the eye, it can be very painful or tender, and it depends what you're calling a sigh. For ophthalmologists and optometrists, we break it up into two different types. We call it a hordeola or a chalazion. So depending on which one it is, it can be painful or sometimes it's not painful at all if it's progressed past the painful stage. You can have burning, you can have tearing, you can have even like a drooping of the lid because the sty is pretty big and it's causing the eyelid to droop. You can feel like there's something in the eye. You can even be light sensitive. So there are even two types. There's an external hordeolum or an internal hordeolum. So an external one is a blockage of the oil gland near the hair follicle, like your eyelash. And those oil glands are called the glands of Zeiss and the glands of Mole. You don't really need to know all that much about that, but they um, are usually infected by bacteria and they get blocked up. It's like a pimple. The other kind of sty is called an internal hordeolum. And all along the eyelid margin, you have something called meibomian glands. You have about 30 to 40 of them, right? They exit kind of right near the lash follicle too, but they're a little bit more on the internal aspect of the eyelid. So when those get blocked, you can also get a sty. And like I said, there is some debate between what a sty is because a sty is not really a medical term. We say chalazion or hordeolum. So depending on that, that's how you figure out what type of oil gland is blocked. Now, what causes a sty? Here's where we're getting into the makeup aspect of things. Sometimes it can be just rubbing and constantly touching your eyelids. There are certain medical conditions that are also going to predispose you to developing a sty. Not cleaning your eyelids or not cleaning your makeup brushes can. Having contaminated makeup also can predispose you to having a sty. So a bunch of different things that can cause you to have a sty. Bottom line is though, styes are not contagious. So even though it might be from contaminated makeup, you can't transmit a sty to someone else just you know, by breathing the same air as them. Really would have to be you using your makeup and then someone else borrowing it. And it's from that bacterial infection. Given all of that, now you know what a sty is and what oil glands are blocked and the location of those oil glands, how does makeup cause a sty? So it's pretty easy to see now that you know the oil glands and where they're located on the eyelids, you can see how makeup can travel pretty quickly because it's such a short distance from the outside of the eye to block the oil gland. It can cause that dryness, triggering that sensitivity, and it blocks the oil gland, which leads to a sty. So what are things that you can do to help prevent this from happening? Well, you guys already know, you're supposed to throw away your eye makeup, especially your gel and cream-based makeups every three months. That includes your liquid liners and your mascaras. They are supposed to be tossed, even if they're not empty, every three months. That's why I tend to buy a lot of travel-sized mascaras because I usually don't go through them all that quickly. So aside from tossing your makeup, you wanna make sure that your brushes and applicators are clean. People, this is, this should really be a no-brainer, but sometimes we get busy. We don't really think that it's that important. You need to clean your brushes. Warm water, make sure you can use if you want, just a little bit of baby shampoo is good enough, a little bit of soap, or you can use special brush cleansers as well. Doesn't matter how you do it, just get them clean. You wanna make sure they air dry. Never store your makeup 
in a vanity or in somewhere like really it's not great to put it in the bathroom it's actually why i created my makeup space in my closet so i knew that it was going to be dry you don't want to put it your brushes or your applicators i mean god forbid on the back of your toilet like in one of those little storage containers because every time you flush the toilet that bacteria travels a great distance so just be mindful about where you keep those brushes where you're storing that makeup because bacteria is everywhere and you don't want to get an infection which is what's going to ultimately cause a sign other tips just wash your hands before you put your makeup on and then at night make sure to remove your makeup thoroughly like extremely thoroughly you want to get rid of all the debris that could potentially clog the oil glands that would lead to a sty this is really where we see a lot of styes forming there was even a woman in her 50s she had never removed her mascara for 25 years i'm not even joking and the mascara itself penetrated underneath the conjunctiva and caused these little black spots on the white of her eye you don't want to do that that's a totally separate thing but this is how makeup can cause a sty because it does just block those oil glands they're all along where your eyelashes are so think any of your eyeliner mascara you've got to make sure and any of your shadows too because they're particulate matter which it can travel to the eye and then last if you have a sty calazian or hordeolum stop wearing your makeup until it heals it's just going to prolong the healing time so i know you might see it really red and you want to dab a little concealer on it so it doesn't look so awful don't do it just resist that urge because you're just further clogging that oil gland by putting more makeup on top of it and you're just prolonging the healing so can styes be caused by makeup yes they can but hopefully you guys have some tips now so you can prevent that from happening let me know if you liked this video by hitting that like button right there let me know what other topics you guys are interested in i'm happy to produce that for you guys really interested in knowing so until next time thanks so much for watching mahalo